talk about video games, then you know the grand titans of the gaming industry. Let's go. We got Atari. The first one of them. Oh, come on. Why is it always glitch? Atari. We got Atari. We got Sega. Nintendo. Sony. And Microsoft. And let's see what gaming consoles they release. Oh, so oops. <laughs> Never mind, let's not. So let's focus on Atari first. If we look at Atari, it was originally an arcade manufacturer with with lots of video games. So take for example, we got Pong. <clears throat> Most common back then. Got many arcade games, including Pac. Okay, I hate when Apple does this. And no, I'm not on my Mac. Newsflash. We got a Pong. We got Space Invaders. I don't know if that actually. I don't know if that was out yet. But we got racing games. We got racing, and many, 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 many more. So Atari put that into an art into arcades. In fact, they even released their own version of Pong, made by Ralph Baer in 1966, but was mainly released until 1972. The Magnavox, which was also another thing by Atari, well, similar to Atari, one of its competitors actually was released in 1970 and had similar games. So Atari and Magnavox were competitors. But it didn't look like it was that much of competitors when Magnavox put their games into Atari. And Magnavox was just a temporary thing. We don't if Magnavox were the first thing, we would be I I don't know personally. Magnav I don't know what happened to Ma from the Magnavox back then, but I do know what happened to Atari. I was released in 1972. But Atari's not done because now we got fanfares. Sega. But wait, before we, but let's go to Atari one more time. And what do we have to say for it? Well, let's see its consoles. We got the Atari Pong. Remember, the Atari Pong plus more. I'll say that that that's actually not its real name, but I'm just saying. Then we got the Atari 2600, which was actually a success. Atari 2600, released in 1977. I'm going to put this as 1972. And since it was a success, they didn't need to release many more, but they had to eventually and with Atari 5200. 2652, you get it. Atari 5200 released in 1983. That pretty much destroyed the gaming industry with the game crash of 1983 thanks to the Atari 5200 that... But here's the advantage, that put Nintendo and Sega on its un unstable legs. But, to move out, the Atari 5200 wasn't much of a success. It only went till, I don't know, seriously, I don't know, 1988 maybe? Then came the Atari Lynx, which was a handheld device that could be flipped over for, um, that could be flipped over for left-handed. So we got the Atari Lynx. The Atari Lynx was released in 1987, and was sort of a success. Then, we got the Atari Jaguar. We got the Atari Jaguar, released in 1991, which was, um, the last console for Atari at the time. Well, maybe. And then we got the Atari VCS, which is... I think it's VCR. VCS or VCR, maybe. And that's coming in... Wait, what? Hold it, hold it, hold it. What? 2021? Wait, I thought, I thought Atari was gone. No, the Atari VCR is coming in May of 2021. Um, maybe a birthday present? I'm not sure. It's really expensive. 
Um, if you already have an Xbox, then you don't need to buy it. Because I have an Xbox, it runs similar games, so you don't need it. You can just go to the arcade anytime and play games on your Xbox. <laughs> Let's move on to Sega. Sega, Sega, Sega. Okay, alright. Sega's first console was released in 1976. Simple, called the Sega Computer TV Game. Sega Computer Game. Actually. Sega Computer Game, actually. And, and it was sort of success. Well, not that much. You get a TV remote, and you get... You get a TV remote, destroy all the buttons, put a joystick on top, add a button on there, and then you got the Sega com Computer TV game. So, not much. Then in 1982, let me put this as 1976. Then in nine, then we in 1982 we got the Sega Mas Sega Master System. System. One and two, they there were two releases. One was released in nineteen eighty. Um, one was released in nineteen eighty one. The other was released in nineteen eighty three. Just um, making it a little more memorable. And as nineteen eighty two, when they were both announced at something, which helped Atari do the game crash of nineteen eighty three. Not good. But at the same time, Nintendo survived that with the release of the of the censored censored. So I'm not gonna tell you until later. The Sega Master System one and two released in 1983, as I already said, and 1982. I meant. Sorry. Um, then we got the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis. I don't even know if I'm spelling it correctly. No, I'm not. Genesis. Good. Now that was a success. Released in 1988, it was battling the NES and S... Oh, dang, I said it. NES and SNES. 1982? Damn it. 1988? And, it was, and since I already gave it away, it was also battling the Atari Jaguar. Sega Genesis. Then we got the Sega Saturn on its legs in 1994. Yep, Sega survived till then, and not much till this point. For the Sega Saturn, which released in 1994. 1994. And was not a success, to be honest. Well, not like I'm a huge fan of Sega, and I can't believe I spelled it wrong and I didn't even notice it. Then we got the Sega Dreamcast 1999. Dreamcast? Released in 1999. And then Sega then did its new console called called Rip. Yup, Rip. Rip Sega. 2001. RIP Sega Rest in Peace. 1959 to 19, 1959 to 2001. Yup, it's done. Sega is now done forever. It was, Sega was actually founded as a arcade company. Well, even though arcades didn't really exist, exist back then, but they had many games and moved in 1959 to Japan like every other major console. I mean, we got Nintendo Japan, Sony Japan, Sega Japan. I don't know what's up with it. But, yup. That is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. This is just the retro version. I'll see you later.